Do all contract breaches lead to damages? The short answer is no. Let me explain. So you may breach a contract and you're concerned, am I going to be liable? Could I go to jail? What are the, what are the risks here? Occasionally I've counseled clients at times where they're wondering whether they can breach a contract and there are no possible damages from that breach. And so the answer is even though it's technically not legal to breach the contract, there would be no damages to the other side. And so there would actually be no harm. What's an example of this? Let's say, for example, that you have a contract with someone to sell them 1,000 white t-shirts of a very specific brand and skew or model number. And they're made by a big company. Let's say they're Nike t-shirts. You offer to sell 1,000 of them. And let's say you offer to sell them for a total of $10,000. And you make the offer, the other side accepts, now you have a contract, and they have to be delivered, let's say, in two months. Well, if you go to the buyer of those t-shirts and say, I am not going to be able to deliver these t-shirts to you in two months, but here's a competitor who can sell the exact same t-shirts and deliver it by the exact same date. And let's just say hypothetically, they're cheaper. They're only $9,000. So the buyer would save $1,000. If the seller breaches the contract and doesn't provide the t-shirts, but sends to the buyer a way to go buy those t-shirts from someone else. And let's assume for this hypothetical that the other seller can provide the t-shirts, there's no harm, it's, it's very simple. All the buyer has to do is reach out and place the order there. In that scenario, there are no damages to the buyer. In fact, the buyer is saving $1,000. So even though you have breached a contract, there are no damages. And as a result, usually you would not be liable in a lawsuit for breach of contract. Why? Because your liability in a breach of contract is the amount of damages. And so here, there are none. So you have no liability. Even though you're breaking the law by breaking a contract, you don't have any civil liability to the buyer for doing that. So do all breaches of contracts lead to damages? Absolutely not. In fact, that is one popular way of getting out of a contract you've already agreed to. That is, if you find a way to minimize or mitigate damages, you'll only owe for the actual damages to the other party. You generally are not liable for the entire deal. Now, there are, of course, exceptions to all of this. I'll give you one big one. Let's say you're selling a house and you decide you don't want to sell the house. So you reach out to the buyer and say, I'm going to cancel this home and I'm not going to sell it to you. But my neighbor is selling and you can actually get that for a better deal. And let's say it's technically valued a little bit more, but it has different numbers of bedrooms, it has a different layout, it's a different color, whatever. A buyer will hear that and say, well, no, Sure, that might be a better deal, but I don't want that one. I want this one. What can the buyer do? The buyer can sue for specific performance, which means the buyer can force you to perform on the contract, even if you don't want to, even if there are no damages to the buyer. So even if the buyer has another home or can find another place to live or whatever, if the buyer wanted that unique piece of property, and you are canceling the contract, it doesn't matter what the damages are. The buyer can sue for specific performance, which means you must specifically perform as required by the contract. So, do all contract breaches lead to damages? No. Uh, but even when there aren't damages, buyers can force you to comply with the contract in certain circumstances, like when they can't get exactly what they wanted from another seller. This goes both ways, by the way. A seller can force a buyer to buy a product or 
parties can force other parties to follow through with their agreement by suing for specific performance. Whether it makes sense to spend all that money on a lawsuit, that's a separate question. More of a practical question. If you are interested in questions like this answered in short form, like little TikTok videos, feel free to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. We have profiles, and right now at least, on various social media platforms. You're welcome to follow us there and get little short form versions of legal questions that I get asked throughout the week. If you haven't already, subscribe at aaronhall.com slash free. You are welcome to check out our channel where we have all sorts of other questions from business owners and the answers provided to you. I do these videos as a public service as a way to use my knowledge as a licensed attorney to help business owners avoid problems, spot issues to discuss with their attorneys, and improve the likelihood that you will have a successful company and successful life. It was great being here with you today.